Welcome to module two. In this module, we want to understand how large language models work. But first, let's check out some use cases that LLMs enable. LLMs can be used to generate text, like marketing copy or emails. They can answer questions, translate documents, and determine the sentiment of a text. LLMs can summarize long documents. They can act as personal assistants or chatbots. We can use them to query tabular data, interact with API, or even evaluate other language models. But what happens behind the scenes? Understanding LLM architecture isn't necessary for building applications. It's like driving a car. You don't need to know how the engine works to drive. Still, some technical details can be helpful. Looking at GPT-4 technical report, we can read that GPT-4, one of the most known LLMs, is a transformer-based model pre-trained to predict the next token in a document. We won't dive and, and try to understand the transformer architecture. That's not necessary for building LLM applications, but we want to, we want to focus on the second part of the statement, which is predicting the next token in a document. So here's how this works. We start with some input text. In our case, weights and biases is. Then we tokenize the text. We need to split it into tokens that are represented by numbers that we fit into the black box, which is the LLM. Then as an output of the LLM, we have a distribution of probabilities over the entire vocabulary, all of the tokens that we have available for our model. And each of these tokens comes with a probability that it comes as a next token in the sequence. And based on those probabilities, we pick, we sample uh, one of the tokens to follow to continue with the sequence. In this case, we select the token V because it has a high output probability. Then we append this token to our input sequence and we repeat the process. We tokenize it, we fit it into the LLM, and again, we get a distribution of probabilities across our vocabulary, all of the tokens. And again, we pick a token with high probability. In this case, let's pick machine. And finally, uh, we again repeat this whole process and we sample the token learning. And if we continue with this process, we can predict, we can sample the text, weights and biases is the machine learning platform. Companies like OpenAI, Cohere, Mosaic, or Meta have already trained models for us. And we use them behind APIs, which means we do not need to train these models to use them in our applications. However, knowing how they were trained can provide useful insights. There are two main steps in training LLMs. The first is pre-training, where the model learns from a massive data set with sources like the entire internet, such as Common Crawl, C4, uh, GitHub, Wikipedia, Books, Archive, which uh, are academic papers, and Stack Exchange, which is a set of questions and answers. This pre-training data set has been published by Meta uh, that trained Llama model. We don't know exactly the pre-training data set used for training GPT-4, but we can imagine it must have been something similar. In this case, in pre-training, a model that has gone through this phase is pretty good in predicting texts such as found in this data set on the internet, uh, on, on GitHub, on Wikipedia, and so on. But this may not be enough. We actually want this model to follow our instructions to respond to our questions. And this is where the second step, which is supervised instruction tuning, uh, can be helpful. In this step, the model is further trained with expert-generated question-answer pairs. And this helps align the model with user expectations and follow instructions. Some LLMs, like GPT-4, undergo an additional phase, reinforcement learning from human feedback. Here, the model is trained to optimize for higher quality answers preferred by human judges. Understanding these training phases can be helpful. It can give us intuitions, for example, how to formulate a prompt in order to get the expected answer, the expected output from the model. 
In the next video, we'll experiment with this concept in Jupyter Notebook with code.